We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. And welcome back to our stream. We apologize, we are in the second game right now. Our first game was a little difficult to stream as we were having some technical difficulties. Uh, but we're here now, we have all the problems resolved and we hopefully could have a smooth stream for you today. Um, unfortunately, we lost Dean. Um, but in lieu of Dean, we have our League of Legends coach, the one and only Judy L. Juju on that beat, Tayo! Yeah, what a, what a horrible nickname I have. <laughs> Yeah, welcome guys to the stream. Uh, I'm hoping we can get a good performance from both teams here as we try and showcase two potential teams in the upcoming online league for our, our local for League, league of, Legends. of Legends tournament uh, starting in uh, April 6th. 6th right? Registration is going to be ongoing soon. Uh, we hope to get that running sh up shortly. And um, <coughs> Shall I turn in my uh, we're in draft right now. Uh, before we start, we'd like to thank our sponsors once again. GTA, Pacific Federal Management, NAC Sports, Pacific Data Systems, MacTech Guam, Twitch, Lottie Esports League, UOG and Delman Foundation, University of Guam Trident Store, Heavy Hitters, and Micronesian Brokers Incorporated. So we're kind of dropping the middle of the draft right now. So you kind of want to talk about the bands right now, Juju? Uh, yes, so we have uh, Top Gap, right? Yeah, so Top, Top Gap, Gap is on, on blue side. side. And we have UOG on red side. It looks like we're having some uh, adjustments from previous game. Uh, I know we weren't able to have that on stream, but uh, Top Gap did take the first game. And we are adjusting here with a Volley Bear and Smolder ban, which UOG found problematic after that game. And it looks like Isomatic, the top laner for Top Gap, is picking Darius, which is a comfort pick of our top laner, Ethan. And a blatant denial of that, so, okay. So it looks like Yochi is going to first pick Kaisa for our ADC Ryu. Okay. Um, and we have Aiden picking next. And Kaisa is also a denial of our previous ADC for many, many semesters uh, since this program came to life, yours. Yours. And one of his signature champions, but also something that Ryu our new rookie has uh, been practicing a little bit. So here we have the Kaisen Nautilus combo, which is a very potent uh, high burst and lockdown uh, bot lane. Mm -hmm. So in this kind of draft, <coughs> it looks like we are going to get an Ash Brahm as an answer to that. Ash Brahm is really good at playing for the uh, counter engage and kind of preventing Nautilus from doing what he wants. And this is looking pretty rough for the bot side in terms of uh, that counter pick right now. Okay. So R3. Looks like we're going for Jarvin this game. J4. Okay. Um, it looks like we're getting a blind jungle here, which I think in this point of the draft, I would have much rather had a counter pick to the Darius, especially since it's a card that's shown and now we give them the opportunity to phase two Ben. Uh, certain counter picks, but we'll see how the draft develops. Right. Okay, Hui Ban. They're expecting a mid lane mage from so Top Gap. Regarding that Hui Ban, I know I kind of talked about it earlier during our first game when they were drafting. Um, I'm actually not too well versed in how Hui works. Uh, why is he like a good ban here for Yoji? Um, Due to all the recent changes with Hui uh, since he got released, he's been getting buffed primarily from his early game. Right. But uh, also with just the new items 
and all the new mage like mana items getting buffed over and over again. Right. Hui's uh, early to mid game is actually quite potent, and the wave clear is really really good on this champion. Low cooldown from all the buffs, and it's just uh, very oppressive to try to get push on this uh, champion, and it has a lot of zone control. So uh, Skyla on top gap, subbing in for uh, Jomei is uh, very comfortable on these sort of control mages, and that's why they're getting this ban out. Uh, same with the Syndra. Right. Okay. And it looks like interesting. They kind of self ban the Orianna because it is a really good combo with Jarvan, Jarvan? Right. even though uh, Top Gap's mid laner is really comfortable on that champion. Okay. And it looks like we are blind picking Lissandra here mid. Interesting. I really, really think they should go for a counter pick on the top side already. Right. But I think this actually might be a specific issue due to accounts not having all champions. Right, right. Which right. is kind of putting a dent in UOG's game plan. Yeah. I would assume. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Um Yeah. Okay, Nico Looks like taken going away. For Nico mid? Yeah, Nico Vi. Vi jungle. Mm, top Gap's team composition has a lot of lockdown, lockdown and, and playmaking yeah. potential on level 6. Right. It looks like we might get a Mordekaiser topside for UOG, and we do. And I think this is supposed to be a sort of vacuum answer and uh, kind of a denial to the strong team fight that Top Gap has. Right. But hmm. So looking at both teams right now, what do you think each team is going to and should play for? So for both teams, I think that top side is extremely volatile. Uh, any gold lead shifted in top side can influence the state of the game very heavily. Uh, Mordekaiser and Darius are really good at snowballing gold leads, as well as the like new grubs, uh, allowing for stuff like turret plates to be taken a lot easier. Right. And for J4 and Vi in the jungle matchup, they are very heavy skirmishers. So I think there might be a little bit of a point of contention there, f especially when it comes to the five-minute grubs. Mm -hmm. But for mid lane on both sides, they're both just kind of enablers and initiators for these team compositions. Both are very, very team fight focused, with uh, UOG having a little bit more tools to get uh, picks while Top Gap's team composition is really good at denying picks, actually, with the Braum and, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so at least for the bot side. Yeah. Okay. So right now we're just waiting for Spectator delay. We will have the game up very shortly. Um, once again, we would like to thank our sponsors, GTA, Pacific Federal Management, Nacy Sports, Pacific Data Systems, MacTech Guam, Twitch, Lati Esports League, Yoji and Diamond Foundation, University of Guam Trident Store, Heavy Hitters, and Micronesian Brokers Incorporated. Yes, sir. So, Juju, for the upcoming tournament, what are you looking forward to? So, I kind of mentioned earlier that you were part of our last really big local League of Legends tournament in 2020, hosted by Lottie Esports. And, um, you know, what are you hoping to see this, this time around? So, for the next, the upcoming tournament, mm -hmm. the thing I'm most excited about is, honestly, just the community building aspect of right, it. Right, right. Uh, for me, it has been a really like core memory of like my late high school, early college life, uh, playing in these like Laddie esports tournaments, right. and uh, you know, experiencing uh, playing players on the island, um, you know, just the competition, meeting new friends, people, stuff like that. The right. scale of it, I'm hoping, is much bigger than what it once was, mm -hmm. and I think with uh, the work of many of the people in this program, we are going to accomplish that, okay? So for those of you who are really interested in League of Legends, especially if you're on these streams right now, late night League of Legends scrims, yes, sir. apply for a team. Get some yes. friends together. So That's what it's all about, you yeah. know? So again, registration for the tournament will be happening soon. We will start on April 6th and it will run until, I believe, late May. And registration is $100 per team, so team of five, that'll be $20 per person. Yeah. Um, so obviously we're trying to promote this as a local tournament, so local League of Legends players, but if you have lived on Guam previously, 
we are accepting of people who previously lived on Guam but are currently living over leave living overseas. Yeah, um, and I think the limit for that is going to be two players, two to three uh, yeah. per roster. I forget exactly. Yeah. I think two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All so right. so we will be starting very shortly. Uh, Spectator delay is going to be happening very soon. Um, <coughs> uh, just really hoping for a very good game on both sides. We already had kind of like our kind of like just testing the waters for the OG, getting used to the team, both teams getting used to each other, and I really hope that they're able to adapt this game. Okay. All right. Get it into game two. All right, as we mentioned previously, Top Gap did take the first game over UOG. We unfortunately were not able to stream that game. But we are here now, everything's fixed. The audio's fixed, and you guys are able to see the game. So let's get started. So I think UOG is going to try to go for a five-point start here. Uh, maybe both sides going for a five-point start. Um, Welcome to with UOG's comp, do you think it would be wise for them to go for an invade? or? I think potentially they could go for a single pick, uh, invade, with something like Nautilus yeah. Kai'Sa, very high burst, especially with the Halo Blades on Kai'Sa. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that uh, if the fight ever extends, stuff like Darius, Ash, and Braum are really, really good. Their level one right. is extremely strong. And as we can see here, we have Top Gap going for a top Looks side like invade instead. A top side trying to avoid the Kai'Sa Nautilus. Before the red? Yes. Yeah. So, UG wards the red side. Looks like J4 Minions is passing fallen. towards bot, Maui. Okay. So for this game, what do you think J4 should be playing for? What do you think is like the most crucial lane to get ahead or to kind of like look out for? I think that bot lane should be initially with their intentions in this draft, mm -hmm. having the Kai'Sa Nautilus. They wanted yeah. to make a lot of plays around bot side, but with how volatile the top lane matchup is and how much of a denial this Braum pick is into yeah. Kai'Sa Nautilus, it'll be more wise to try to play for a top side lead, especially with the events that just happened right now with Kai'Sa And it looks like Demimin and yours going for an early trade on Kai'Sa and Nautilus. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Kai'Sa was... Uh, unfortunately, Kai'Sa had to burn her flash guy out there and she had to take it back, which means she loses the first wave of... Okay. Hmm. Top lane. Hmm. Ethan. Not respecting the Darius level 1, even though that is his main champion. Yes. Kay. It's not looking really good for the side lanes of UOG to start of this game. Bot lane starting at an XP deficit and down a flash on AD. And still going for the trade on the Sandra mid lane. Okay. Top lane is getting pushed in, heavy traded on. Heavy trade on Mordekaiser, but not able to dock proc the Darius passive. Looking and it looks rough. like Vi is passing bot side. Uh, unfortunately, not able to go for a level through gank. Yeah. Uh, possibly looking at mid lane here yeah. uh, as Cassandra has pushed up the lane. Cassandra's okay. wave is in a really awkward position. Yes. It looks like Pop Gap is aware of Jarvin's positioning right. at the moment <laughs> because they had that board on his red and it expired and before it looks he like was up. Vi is looking for a dive on bot lane. Uh, trying to punish the Kai'Sa with no flash, but it looks like they don't have a way. It looks like they do not have a way pushed out. J4 is coming bot to cover J4 it. coming for the counter gank. I think he could have just farmed. Yeah. There's not much to do here. Okay. And again, in these, this sort of game... Oh. Oh. Now it's going for a hook. Okay. And first blood first going blood to UOG. Okay. It's a good pick. It's a good pick Under for level, Kai'Sa. Don't matter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's the strength of this sort of combo, especially with the Halo Blade setup. Right, right. Looks like Damon got a little zealous on the tower there. Uh, they get that bot wave in, and it should be a free reset, and hopefully a decent item advantage. Lissandra pushed out mid lane. Um, Braum and Vine the top side may be looking for something to do top. It looks like they want like to put some pressure on the top side and play for grubs. But Jarvan can be here for the counter game. Mord is uh, respecting Mord has it. Mord yeah. burn flash. Unfortunately, Mordekaiser will go down. 
Mordekaiser didn't expect this, even though we know that Braum just died and is on his own timer. Right? With bot very, lane being very present. unfortunate. Yeah. So it looks like J4 just took a reset, going to that bot side to hopefully clear his camps and look for your, maybe an early dragon here. Yeah. Uh, Braum's still walking back from the fountain. Uh, Mm. With flash up, Nautilus should just flash auto this Ash. And she, he, so, could, yeah. he could get a pick on this. Because Braum is still like definitely not in lane. Yeah. He's only halfway up. Victoria is looking to push a very big wave into Mordekaiser and, hope, and maybe looking for a back. Take the power shot. And J4 looking to start Dragon here maybe. Or just grabs Koda. We have the Lissandra TP mid. It looks like he looks like wants to do this. Starting dragon by his bot side. Uh, Nico had just back, so it is a currently a four v three um, on the side of Yoji. Nico's late on this. Let's see if Vi goes for the steal. Late. Oh, one able to secure the dragon and get Vi's yeah. flash at the same time. Very Minus good one. for Yoji. F for flash, by yes. the way. Good mountain Drake for this. Mountain Drake for this comp good. is very good. They are going to be very tanky, especially with the Mordekaiser and Nautilus MG4. Mm. Itchy going for the hook, but unfortunately misses. I think grabs a minion instead. Um, J4 is still currently in bot side, probably just for mid. Oh, and solo, solo kill by Mordekaiser in the top lane. Solo bolo. The Mordekaiser gets to shove this wave in and hopefully get a plating and get a good back. I think they should let this wave crash or uh, push towards them for UOG because J4 is hovering this bot side and I don't think we have any intention of playing for grubs with this positioning right now, especially right. with Mordekaiser getting on a base with no TP. <coughs> So J4 in the bot side, push is not warded, I believe. Yeah, not warded, so he could possibly look for a gank here, bot. Unless the... Yes, so... Top cap looking to back here. Uh, Nico going to contest this buy on the grubs. Takes one. Okay. Ash has been waiting to get that back timer off. Yeah. Had to freeze the wave after the mishap with Damon for first blood. Right. So top cap secures the first grubs of the game. There will be another one spawning in shortly. Uh, bot lane taking it back. Bot lane on the east side. It looks like Lissandra's walking towards bot river. I'm not really sure why. It's not really anything to play for. Maybe he took the up plants. Okay. Top lane's getting wave stacked Top lane stacked getting here. very shoved in with this big wave by Darius. Uh, J4 is also topside, you can go for the counter gank if Vi decides to turn around, but Vi looks like he's gonna clear your clear. Okay. Bot lane's getting back on the map with two waves stacked. I wonder if any plays can be made. Because I think UOG's bot lane is about to hit 6 at least on the next wave. Next and wave? if yeah. they freeze it in this position, they can potentially threaten something with J4 bot side. Let's see what they can do with this opportunity. Because Ash is level 6, but uh, Braum is under leveled. Right. Lissandra is not on the map, so mid lane would have first move. Okay. It looks like with this looks wave like position. Looks like and Vi looking to kill Jarvan on his Gromp or possibly steal his camps. Uh, with the wave position, that looks very possible. Uh, unfortunately, Lissandra's only one who rotates and she gets caught out. And this looks mm. like a death for Lissandra. And unfortunately, Jakey goes down. I think he meant to ult himself, but he misclicked on someone else. And it looks like it's Maui getting caught. Mm. Kazuko then goes out. 
Oh, way too over down. force on the 4v5. Or 3v4. Force a burn flash. And looks like Itchy will be going down. Not looking too good. Not looking too good, not looking too good. But, um, you know, miracles can happen. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Always happens in my rank games. Yeah, well, those are usually the. Uh, and it looks like they're going for a dark for the Kaisa. And Kaisa flashes the Vaikyu. And Kaisa. Ooh. Be a one for one? Kaisa is able to take down the Dememan before he goes down. Could have been a and one for two. Really close there. Nice try. Looks like Nautilus is fishing for this Nico. Looks like something's happening in top side. Top side. There like is misses the apprehend. Going to possibly proxy the wave and Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is actually. Mordekaiser and G4. Oh. Nice little gank here. Nice setup by Yoji. Oh. Oh, root over the, the flash wall. on Darius. Unfortunately, not able to secure the kill. Unless I don't think they had information on yes. Darius's flash there. Otherwise, Lissandra could have went over the wall to follow. Unfortunately, they are backing out from this fight. It's not a fight that they want to take. Therefore, we'll go back to clearing, and Kaiso will take place on side. <laughs> Many mishaps happening for Yoji's bot side right here. But it looks like there is a gold lead and XP lead on the Mordekaiser. So in that team fight earlier on the top side jungle, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, it looks like you're going to another team fight here. And you can all go down. Okay. Damien gets caught out, and, and it looks, looks like they have like a dragon, dragon time. Yeah, as I was saying, so in that top fight at um, River, what do you think could have happened? I think they were lacking information on Darius's flash. Right. Because if they did know, then... Lissandra would have been able to E over the wall and secure the kill. Right. Especially if she had first move. Okay. But it looks pretty looks good like right now. Looks like they're trading objectives. Vi is currently grabbing Void Grubs. And yeah. Nico and Darius are able to rotate over. Okay. UOG Sorry. special. Going for the dragon stack. Sorry, Some yes. things never change over the years. <laughs> okay. It's actually surprising. Oh, that it's surprising, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe on the side of top gap, they have three UOG Esports alumni. Uh, the Memon, yours, and Isomatic, right? Yeah, there are three alumni. So, And obviously our current team member, x Skyla, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. And looks like Maui is going down after a failed invade on Vi's red. Another forward force play from Maui. Darius going for this proxy again because he knows that jungler just side, Lots <laughs> of Okay. So again, I'm surprised that Yuji is able to get this dragon stack, mostly due to the Mimin's positioning around the map, right. getting caught out on these timers. Even though bot lane is at a actually huge deficit right now. Right. We could look at the items on Ash's base. Yeah. Could we get a look at the items on Ash's base? Okay. So it looks like Ash has gotten Kraken Slayer first, and it looks like she's building towards Boots at the moment. Okay. Actually, I actually have um, not seen the tab screen at all. It looks like the CS. And it looks like top lane is having an emote fest here. Yeah, well, and a little bit of BM. It wouldn't be a friendly competition without a little bit of BM. Yeah. Okay. It looks like bot lane for Yuji is not as behind as what okay. I thought initially. They're able to secure a lot of platings, um, which is very good for them as they started the game uh, pretty badly with that level 1 trade. Yeah. It has this flash in that back that she has to take. Uh, mid lane, as of now, um, I believe Jakey is uh, struggling a little bit. Uh, and it looks like Vi is looking for a gank here on mid. And she Ooh. misses a Q flash. Um, but ulti? Oh, okay. nice good ulti by Jakey, able to dodge the Nico R, but unfortunately gets caught by the Vi. Vi R and gets killed. Yeah. Maui unfortunately unable attempt. to save him. On the escape by Jake. But it looks like bot lane and jungler is able to rotate to mid side. And 
Looks like they want to contest this. And Herald. Ash looking to push the bot lane out and hopefully get more damage on the turret. Mm. Now they want to contest this Rift Herald, but since they're down Jakey, Ash is able to push bot side for free. I think Lissandra should TP on this bot turret right. to try to prevent this. And Lissandra is TPing on the bot turret as we hope he would. And it looks like Yoji is going to secure this Herald by just by doesn't seem to be want to contest this. Uh, Darius could possibly take this top tower. Uh, he's shoving a very big wave in, but Mordekaiser will stop him. Again, this top lane is very volatile. With right. Mordekaiser in this lead, he has complete control over this top side, which is why top gap is not able to contest this Rift Herald, especially after expending resources to kill JK. Right. But on the trade for the other side of the map, and yours seems like to get the first turret. Yep, top first turret goes to top gap. Um, and it looks like uh, yours will have to take it back here and uh, possibly rotate mid to match your Kaisa. Yuji is bleeding a lot of these waves with the way they're moving around the map, forcing these neutrals. Right. But in the end, they are up two dragons and Herald. Let's see if they can do any plays that open up the and map. And it looks like Herald. a trade copying in bot or in top lane. Uh, Nord Kaiser misses the Q. And looks like he is going to get dunked on, and this will be good night. Good night for Mark Geyser. Big, big misplay. Yeah. Fortunately, he gets caught out under the turret by Darius Apprehend. Um, but a little bit of DM. <laughs> and it looks like Darius <laughs> will be taking the top turret here. Oh, the Ashara and Ashara going on the Kaisa, and the Brahmar also going on, but he's able to get yeah. saved by the oh Mario Kart. Brahm. Mario Kart having a mid lane. Maui backing, Kay. going for the Nico. Going into the Nico, bat, bat had closing by Maui. Mm. Big shutdown for Jakey. Big shutdown, uh, but the like Ash is untouched. He's all the damage in this composition. And unfortunately, they are not able to finish off the bye. Mm. Mordekaiser actually had TP for this, but went offside instead of here. A little bit of a blunder. All good, all good. The counter engage looked good initially, but they only bursted down the Nico and the Brahm, um, who had already used everything they CS had. CS level's looking pretty okay so far. Um, Jakey, a little bit over 15 CS down from the Nico. Um, but bot side and top side, very close. And Maui actually has a CS lead on the Vi. And. Top gap looking to take Dragon here. They have wards all over the place, and UOG is not able to walk up as he does not have a setup. And Itchy getting caught out here by Darius. I think Nautilus is dead here. And Nautilus might die here. This is going to be a free Dragon for Free Dragon for you. Darius misses the flash out flash for, him. for him. But I don't think it matters because this, this Dragon is, is going to be gone, denying soul point. But they did this because they know that Mordekaiser doesn't have TP to contest this, and right. they had first move catching Itchy out, trying to get vision. A little bit of a bad play on the map for UOG. Mordekaiser going down for seemingly no reason after Nolas so had already been picked out. So based on like what you saw, do you think that fight could have been played way better from UOG? I think that at this point with Mordekaiser expanding the TP top side in right. the previous play and getting the tier 1. They knew that top gap would have first move to dragon. and like yeah, first show on this dragon. So I don't think it's a fight they should have taken at all. But otherwise, uh, it's a more a mistake on Aiden getting caught out for vision, right. not respecting the fact that they have first yeah. move. Again, at this point in the game, especially with uh, the gold deficit on UOG's bot side, we are lacking a good amount of damage in this team composition. Especially with yours being this fed. So right. forcing these sort of plays right here, and I don't think it's like going to look too good. They need to find these picks. They cannot take these team fights against this Ash. Bomb Way too strong. On the Kaisa and okay. Nautilus getting art by the by. Oh, the Sandra. Oh, it looks like they found Big the pick. Big shutdown for Maui. Ash. Hopefully able to finish the... Braum, but unfortunately he's not able to. Vi, Vi could die here, and unfortunately Vi does not go down. Oh, everyone's so low. Nico ult's huge. Nico ult, big Nico ult. Mordekaiser like here, wipe. hopefully to clean up. Yeah. And it un unfortunately gets the 
So the wrong person in the Wonder Cards are able to get the Nico. Hopefully able to finish them the Braum, unfortunately. Getting pushed back for the buy and gets dunked on. Very unfortunate for Yoji, but they're able to get the big shot down on Ash. So in that team fight, what do you think should have happened? Uh, as we saw, uh, they got the big shot down on Ash. Uh, they just kept going in to get caught up by the Nico ult. What do you think should have happened there? I think the initial fight was already overforced by Nautilus. With Lissandra moving up, they should have been more coordinated on the timing with this, but it looks like Oh, Big shutdown no. goes to Nautilus. That's very That's unfortunate for very, the Kai'Sa. Very, very unfortunate. That's really something that you want to get on Kai'Sa, but Darius overstaying for that turret. Yes. This kind of gives UOG some breathing room to Hopefully maybe set up some vision topside. They are seeing the Ash and looking to get a pick on her, but Vi's bot side. Yeah. Or Vi's top side. Yeah. But okay. yeah, on the last team fight. Yeah. The initial start of the fight with Nautilus was a little too overforced where they had to get slow chased down by Ash, but they were able to find the re-engage onto Ash getting the bounty. Again, that went on J4, and then the bounty on Darius went on Nautilus, which is the two members of this team that you do right. not want the gold on. Right. And Jakey getting caught by Nico Q and getting ulted by Nico. Okay. Taking a very good trade yeah. by both sides, and Jakey taking fat trade, and unfortunately will go down. Jakey getting caught out from this Nico again. That gives a lot of control to top gap on this bot side. Shoving this wave in, contesting UG's blue. Right. Maui looks like he's gonna face check this Vi. He might be in trouble here. Maui unfortunately is able to escape. Caught up, but unfortunately. Um, To be really hard to get some control. Jacob does have, or Jakey does have TP, and Vine, Darius, and Nico are on a back timer. They don't have vision set up to do any sort of flank or fast plays right now. Because it looks like Top Gap just reset for the dragon, and we don't really have any opportunities for Vasanya to get any special engages because right. everything right now lies on getting a pick on this Ash or this Darius. Right. And Nautilus able to get the hook on Braum and able to chunk him out. Kay. But unfortunately they're unable to finish. Uh, it looks like Top Gap could look to start Dragon here when it spawns and looks like we're having a Cloud Soul this game, correct? Uh, Ocean Soul. Ocean Soul? Oh, apologies. It confused with the icons. Okay. They're really trying to contest this area, but we don't really have the waves to do right. this sort of thing. That death push is completely out of UOG's vision. Let's see if Maui can get a flag in there. Okay, spots it out. Lissandra neutralizes the bot wave, and Ash is pushing in mid. Just a little bit of a stalemate while waiting for this dragon to spawn. Kaisa contesting the mid wave. Top gap starting the dragon. Could be setting up for a big team fight here. Yep. Braum gets chunked out again. Braum chunked out again, Hook. gets hooked by the Nautilus, and Braum looks like will be going down. Vi ult on to Kaisa. More guys are unfortunately ult the wrong person again. Oh, and gets his pick on Darius. No, he doesn't Darius finish the, the kill. If he finishes that kill, he might be able to do a little bit more, but again, no eyes on this Ash. As the main target has all of the damage, all of the gold on top gap. And getting that hook on Braum is fine, but we're over committing a little bit too much on the Kai'Sa. And it looks like top gap will be starting Baron here with yeah. uh, spam king that Ash. Looks down. like they're trying to recognize <laughs> <laughs> the main issue in these team fights. But it is hard to get on top of this uh, champion when you have something like the Braum, Braum ult and, and the Nico ult. Yeah. It's had a lot of peel for the, the, the Ash. Kaisa being also naturally short range is always in uh, threat of this Vi. Darius getting caught but by bot lane and he will go down. So Baron going over to... Top gap. 
see what they want to do with it. Looks like they're trying to get this top tier too. Yuji is not prepared for this. Mid tier 2 is also very low on HP. This might be a slow siege. Looks like we're just going to 5 man top side. No splitting in this team composition. They are going to eventually back off since Darius got picked. Don't want to take this 4v5, it's the only way they lose Baron. And now that they match these back timers with Darius's respawn, it's all completely up to top gap on what they want to do in this game. So, most of top gap has Baron with the exception of Darius, correct? Yes. Um, so with that big shift in the, uh, with that team fight in Baron, the gold lead should be massive for top gap. Could we get a look on the items? Okay. So, looks like Vi has not died yet with a 4 into gold bounty. Um, Darius with Trinity Force and Black Cleaver, also QSS and Merchad, so he's not getting CC'd out all by his team. Um, looks like Kaisa is going for AP Kaisa, right? Or is that a hybrid build? Uh, it is an AP Kaisa, attack speed Kaisa build. Mm -hmm. It is a hybrid uh, focus build. Right. This Lissandra is heavily down in items. Right. Will not be doing anything other than CCing. No damage. Yeah, the gold deficit is really, really huge here. They are going to have to find some sort of miracle picks. I mean, this kind of composition that UOG is playing is able to facilitate these kinds of things, but with the way that Top Gap is playing these two lanes and setting up vision on this bot side, it's right. going to be really, really hard. And Mordekaiser we do have un tools unfortunately like this unable Mord ult. to ult the Darius again. That is right. very unfortunate. And Vive flashes the... the you get a pick on this Darius again? Not as ult on this Nico. Are we going to fight again? Okay, we get his pick on Braum. Nico ult is kind of big. Nico ult is big. Mortizer and Nas will go down. There's no eyes on this Ash. This Ash is free hitting. J4 will go down. Kaiser will go down. And that's an ace for the side of top gap. And it looks like they're looking to end here. Yeah. This looks like GG is on the side of top gap, taking the second game as well. Yeah. That'll be the end of this best of three. GG's for UOG and to top cap. Oh, it's so hard to not be biased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. But so then again, this is our exhibition match for our upcoming uh, League of Legends tournament happening April 6th. Registration will start soon. It is $100 per team, which means it is $20 per person. We hope to see you guys there soon. Um, and we are going to run a very quick commercial. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us. Change us. Inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together. What ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. Hello, hello, hello. I've been, I've been called. Again. A bit of a rough showing for UOG's competitive team, but a good showing for Top Gap, very, which very is a, good showing, yes. a team that we are going to get a little bit more content on because they are going to sign up for the, again, the online Our league. Our tournament happening on April 6th. We are going to see both teams, both Top Gap and our UOG team, going to be participating in the tournament. Um, yeah. A little bit of BM, especially from the top side. You know, <laughs> maybe we can uh, spark a little bit of a rivalry there. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, but that, that's what this is all about, right? This competition. We're playing this, league. We're this is what I want to see. Yes. Well, league like toxicity. To you can't stop it. But we can keep it at a minimum. I like the BM. It keeps it spicy, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But again, thank you for showing up to the stream. 
we will be having these sort of scrimmages uh, streamed weekly uh, on this channel in preparation for the tournament. And uh, this is the sort of format that we will be having when the tournament starts. Okay. So do you have a set schedule for stream, or are you just going to have them like every Thursday, every Tuesday on your practice uh, Well, days? next week is going to be spring break, so we won't be having oh, a yeah, stream yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But the week after, I would like to uh, showcase our recreational team with something a little bit more lighthearted and fun. Right. But nonetheless, showing what UOG is all about in terms of Triton Esports. Right. Yeah. But that'll end it off for end our this. Stream, uh, and before we leave, we'd like to thank our sponsors yeah. one more time. Thank you to GTA. Pacific Federal Management, NAC Sports, Pacific Data Systems, MacTech Guam, Twitch, Lottie Esports League, UOG Endowment Foundation, University of Guam Trident Store, Heavy Hitters, and Micronesia Brokers Incorporated. Once again, I'm, I'm Wantun. And I'm Juju. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.